Yo, what is up? Today's video is about how to aim better. And to aim better, you need to understand the mechanics of what affects aim. And that is dispersion, your aim time, and shell velocity, which is what today's video is all about. Now, if you are here for the first time, consider subscribing and giving this video a like. That's the best way you can help support my channel. Also, leave a comment in the comment section below. Wargaming pays attention to your comments and to your suggestions. So leave a comment in the comment section below now the only information we know about aim time and gun dispersion in the in the player i in the u user interface is this some aim time information and some dispersion over 100 meters that's all we get but if you dig further in places like tanks.gg you can find your tanks specification that looks something like this about your gun and more specifically about what your gun dispersion is like your standard dispersion for example is 0.36 and then you have moving dispersion tank traverse turret traverse after firing those are your penalties that are added to your standard dispersion example if your dispersion is 0.36 if you're moving and you are turning at the same time you are adding a 0 0.013 plus another 0 0.013 and if you're traversing your turret as well at the same time it adds another 0 0.08 so those are your penalties that are added to your dispersion uh, that makes up the value uh, while uh, while you are playing the game so it looks something like this so that's how your dispersion looks when you are on the move absolutely humongous but when you are stationary and fully aimed you can see the dispersion is really tiny there when you are fully aimed so let's dissect the dispersion and find out exactly how it is measured and how it is calculated and how dispersion works so this is your standard reticle now as i was saying this is the same picture as the first one dispersion on the move so let's take a look at what dispersion is about the white line represents the the circumference or or the bloom the outside ring of the bloom the maximum dispersion of uh, the current tank so that is the circumference of that bloom now the yellow line is the diameter of that circumference it's also um, it also measures the caliber of your gun or ammunition so like a 762 uh, caliber would be like for an ak-47 762 millimeter bullet or a 152 millimeter shell for a howitzer so that's the diameter of the circumference and next up is the radius of this circumference which me is measured from the center of the reticle to the edge of the circle so that is the radius and that is exactly how um, um, dispersion is measured from the center of the reticle to the edge of the bloom uh, that is the number that you get like from the previous picture that i showed you 0 0.36 or here 0 0.33 that is how uh, dispersion is measured that basically means your shells never fly out of that radius of dispersion they always group or they always stay in that circle uh, just like this uh, what never happens is uh, the, those shots flying outside of that bloom uh, like this this would never happen uh, in world of tanks so basically your dispersion means it will all your shots will stay inside that circle but how do they group well in the past this was how it, wor it was in 8.5 version 8.6 the grouping was more towards the center of um, the reticle closer to the center of where you aimed it and then they changed it in version 9.6 and 9.7 you can see the the grouping is a lot bigger you, you tend to uh, that's R, what you call rng and uh, basically what it's right right now it looks more like with the picture on the right here sandbox uh, after 9.1 one seven uh this is what it looks like um this is what world of tanks is right now rng plus 25 percent the grouping is more spread out towards that uh inside that reticle it's more spread out it used to be more towards the, towards the center but right now this is the way it is but there are ways for you to improve your aim and uh, one way to do that is with uh, equipment uh, vertical stabilizers for example increases uh, makes your 
your reticle 20% smaller. Uh, that's what vertical stabilizers do. Uh, gun laying drive. Gun laying drive helps you aim faster by 10%. So let's say you aim, it takes you two seconds to aim with a gun laying drive. It's going to take you 1.8 seconds to aim. Now, gun rammer is not an aiming tool, but it does help out in terms of gun performance. A gun rammer takes 10% out of your loading time which means if it takes you 10 seconds to aim with a gun rammer it's going to take you nine seconds and now we also have vents vents that improve uh, vents improve your overall skill if your crew is 100 percent skilled it becomes um 110 percent skill and then the more individual skills individual crew if they have five skills six skills the more skills they have the more vents will help each and every one of those skills food also helps uh, improve the commander skills by 10 and uh, improves the individual crew by 11 points so if you have um I'll tell you the difference between gun lane drive. Some people prefer gun lane drive over vents. Some people prefer vents over gun lane drive. If you are using, if you have crew that have no skills or very little skills, gun lane drive will directly help you aim better because it'll help you aim faster by 10%. Now, if you have five skills, six skill crew, you would pref you would it would be better to use events because events is going to help out all those individual skills and boost your overall skills by 10 percent so events uh, if you have a lot of uh, crew skills and gun lane drive if you do not have a lot of crew skills now i'm showing you how to shoot uh, an ebr in my 112 chinese heavy tank and this tank has um 800 meters per second shell velocity now we were talking about um uh tank shooting tank performance tank guns um shell velocity plays a big part uh, the faster your shell velocity the better your aim is going to be now this tank has 800 meters per second shell velocity it is not very good shell velocity uh, but it is workable uh, you can fire manually you saw me take my first shot there firing manually and i hit the ebr 105 very difficult tank to hit it takes some practice you need to lead your shots but if you want to fire and shoot an ebr um and it's going to be difficult for you to shoot at dis distances like this uh, you could use auto aim but instead of um when you use your auto aim you need to look at observe the EBR what is he doing when the tank is driving across you it is very difficult to shoot an EBR if it's traveling from right to left or left to right it is impossible so what you need to do is wait for him to make a sharp turn or wait for him to drive away from you or drive towards you that is when it is easiest to shoot an EBR 105 now I am using auto aim right now I'm auto aimed at him and I'm waiting for him I'm zoomed in sometimes but I'm looking at him for him to make a turn or face me or run away from me. That's when I try to pull the trigger and try to uh, get this uh, EBR 105. Now I could do an entire video about about uh, shell and shell types but basically there are four different type of shells i'll make it quick for you there is the standard ap shells there is apcr shells which is normally premium shells there is heat shells and there is he shells the shells that are the slowest shell velocity are the he shells and heat shells the fastest shell velocities are always from the APCR shells and sometimes the AP shells. Now also, when you are firing AP and APCR shells, they can shoot through barriers, they can shoot through walls, uh, breakable objects like walls. Uh, you can't shoot through some bi solid buildings, but breakable buildings, uh, AP and APCR shells can shoot through them. But HE and heat shells cannot shoot through uh, breakable buildings or breakable walls or fences and stuff like that so that is what you need to know about the shells and shell uh, shell type shell velocity of course apcr is faster which means you it's easier for you to hit your target with a faster shell speed so keep that in mind when you are trying to aim now remember dispersion is affected by movement so the less you move the better you will aim thanks for watching this video i hope you give this a like and i will see you on the next video bye, -bye.